vegetable and butcher may not sound like they go together, but our guest right now, Chef Cara Mangini, is going to prove otherwise. She is the author of a brand new book, and it's beautiful. It's called just that, The Vegetable Butcher. Welcome to Thank Local you. 12. Thanks for having me. Now, I wanted to ask you, what made you think butcher when it comes to, to vegetables? Well, I come from a family of butchers, traditional meat butchers, oh, really? and I wanted to connect my interest in food and health with the craft of butchery and, uh, and really wanted to focus on putting vegetables in the center of the plate for people. Excellent. Well, and we're going to make a dish here. So tell us, we've yes. got an eggplant. I think one of the things that you do in the book that's very helpful to someone like me is I'm a 22 year vegetarian, but sometimes certain vegetables scare me to, to I don't know how to cut them up. Like a squash, I'm not good at. Absolutely. Vegetables can be really intimidating. So in the book, I share my tips, tricks, techniques, knife lessons to help you feel more comfortable and confident cooking with vegetables. Okay. So we're doing baked eggplant fries mm, here with two good. different dipping sauces. I'm going to show you how to cut into an eggplant. You're going to just cut the top and the bottom off here. And when you're looking for eggplant for this particular dish, and really in any, you want them to be sort of firm to the touch, not too hard uh, and not squishy. Uh, and you want to buy eggplant when it's nice and fresh this time of year um, and that's going to keep it from being bitter. Um, now I just cut this in half and now I'm cutting them into like little steaks here or slabs. Okay, and now I have these, just for the sake of time, I'm gonna do this quickly. Um, I have two slabs of eggplant. Now I'm just gonna cut them into little sticks for the fries that we're doing. Uh, and that's it. Uh, and from there we're gonna dip them into olive oil. And sometimes having these knife lessons uh, and step-by-steps, which I share in the book, really help just to feel a little more comfortable working with yeah. vegetables. Like so, I like cauliflower. I use that a lot. And I notice in the book you show good ways to break that down because it goes everywhere. Yes, really great quick tip on cauliflower. So now I'm just tossing these sticks in olive oil with a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. And then you're going to put them into just um, egg here that this has already been beaten. Uh, and then you want to just uh, make sure they're nicely coated and then we're putting them in a mixture of breadcrumbs and cornmeal and that's okay. going to give it really nice texture and flavor and you can see we just have them dipped right in the egg and now we're going to dredge them cover them coat them nicely in this uh, wonderful mixture and then you'll just transfer it to an oiled baking sheet here and that's it and that's it and then you're going to bake them at about 400 degrees uh, for 15 minutes and you'll turn them and then do another 10 minutes, but it's super fast and easy. Yeah, and the, the finished product looks delicious. Yes. Uh, and you can meet Kara tonight and you can learn some of her recipes at local events. She's going to hold a demo class tonight and book signing at Cook Squares in Harper's Point. It's at 6.30 tonight. And if you can't make tonight, she's going to have another demo class and signing at Cook Squares in Settler's Walk. That's in Springboro at 6.30. So some great ideas and a beautiful book. So make sure you pick that up. Uh, we'll prove to everybody that vegetables are delicious. Absolutely. They can certainly be the star of your plate. Okay. Well, uh, thank Chef you. Karamanji, thank you so much.